everyone, I'm Mom Jovi. In this video, I am going to discuss the elements of concept paper for social change. <clears throat> and conceptualizing the content, always start with the ends in mind. Generate your own ideas about the content and identify various opportunities based on your target audience. Have a clear plan on actions, responsibilities, work requirements, time frame, and budget if needed. Set a smart goal to target. S for specific, M for measurable, A for attainable, R for realistic, and finally, T for time-based. Role of ICT in social change, information and communication technology can play a significant role in bringing about social change in many ways, like increased access to information. ICT has the potential to increase access to information and knowledge that can be used to address social issues. For instance, people in remote areas can use the internet to access health information or learn about their rights. Facilitate communication. ICT can facilitate communication among people, groups, and organizations working towards a common goal. This can lead to more effective collaboration and coordination. Empowering communities. ICT can empower communities by providing them with tools and resources to participate in decision-making processes. This can lead to more inclusive and participatory governance. Supporting education and training. ICT can support education and training, providing people with the skills and knowledge they need to bring about social change. And amplifying voices. ICT can amplify the voices of marginalized groups, providing them with a platform to express their views and concerns. This can lead to greater awareness and action around social issues. Look at the definition of a concept paper. So concept papers are summaries of projects or issues that contemplates interest experience and expertise that commonly serve as a purpose of delivering an in-depth discussion of a certain topic that a person has a strong position on. A concept paper is a preliminary document that outlines a proposed idea or project, providing an overview of the problem or issue, a description of the proposed solution, and a discussion of the anticipated outcomes or impact. It serves as a means of generating feedback and support from stakeholders and potential collaborators and can be used as a tool for securing funding or support. Here are the key points in making your concept paper. The first one, rise with a concept topic or idea that you are genuinely interested. Next, write down the questions associated the topic or idea you have chosen. Next, create a possible solution from each of the questions that you have developed. Classify what kind of data you need that will answer your questions and identify how you will gather the information needed and lastly, identify how will you analyze, interpret, and present the overall data you gathered. Elements of a concept paper for social advocacy. The first one is introduction. The introduction is the most significant part of the concept paper that includes a brief introduction of the project or campaign together with its mission and vision. In this part, the paper must continue to persuade the reader. The introduction should provide a clear and concise 
overview of the social issue or problem that the advocacy project aims to address. It should explain why the issue is important and highlight the potential impact of the project. Let's take a look at the definition of mission and vision. So as stated here, mission or goal, vision or dream. A mission statement communicates the organization's reason for being and how it aims to serve its key stakeholders. While vision statement, in contrast, is a future-oriented declaration of the organization's purpose and aspiration. Hence, the mission statement should describe the overall goal of the project, while the vision statement should provide a long-term perspective of what the world would look like if the project is successful. Therefore, by defining a clear mission and vision, the concept paper can help to establish a sense of purpose and direction for the proposed social change initiative. This can be helpful in attracting support and funding, as well as motivating stakeholders to work towards a common goal. The next element is purpose. This element of concept paper includes the reasons why your chosen project or advocacy campaign is worth all the time, effort, and money. To write a compelling purpose statement for a social advocacy concept paper, it is crucial to understand the problem or issue that the campaign seeks to address. The purpose statement should articulate how the campaign will address the issue and what impact it will have on the target audience or community. It should inspire and motivate readers to support the campaign and take action to help achieve its goals. This element is description. This element of concept paper includes all the necessary information, data, and details about your project. This element talks about the steps and procedures and how you will do things properly. It also expounds the methods and plans on how you will answer the problems of the concept paper and in revealing the efficacy of your solution to the problem. This element also involves on in how you will process your concept paper into a clear technique of the production of corporate solution in harmonious purpose that will lead to the creation of successful project or advocacy. The element of concept paper contains the budget needed for the project. Every project needs funds to be published and materialize their certain costs. Thus, support from sponsors necessary to be considered. Remember that support does not only mean monetary things, but it can also be a moral support from your friends, relatives, among others, depending on the topic or cause you have chosen. The amount of concept paper includes information on how you can be contacted. This includes the following, but not limited to names of the creators, address, phone or telephone number, email address, and any available websites. So there, shout out to my grade 11, Bonifacio Benzon and Rizal. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. Because by subscribing, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video so you won't miss a thing. Also, don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video helpful or entertaining. Your support means a lot to me and it helps my channel reach more people. Finally, if you know someone who would enjoy this video, please consider sharing it with them. I appreciate your help in spreading the word about my channel. Again, thank you so much for watching. See ya!